this is teacher Tin. Okay, laging tinatanong sa akin, ano bang nakikita ng kids kapag nag-share screen? Ano bang gagawin nila kapag in-enable natin yung remote control sa kanila? Ano bang nakikita nila? Ano bang mga steps that they need to follow? How do they control the tool? Okay, so today, I'm going to pretend to be the student. And then Reggie will pretend to be the teacher. He's going to show us or share his screen to us. Ang gagamitin niya ay whiteboard so that I can walk you through the steps that our students need to follow para ma-execute nila yung mga tasks na binibigay natin sa kanila. Okay, so this is how their screen look like, uh, looks like. So here at the top, and saan yung name ni teacher, siya yung nandun sa green toolbar. And then, katabi nun, yung view options. May student ako, yan ang nire-recite niya. Teacher, I need to click view options. So, what's inside view options? So, may zoom ratio. That's the part where it, they can alter the size of their screen. So, I recommend the 100% original size. Lalo na if they use tablets or iPads. And then, the next that they need to click is annotate. Annotate is the third here. There you go. Kapag clinic na nila si Annotate, talabas si pin bar, yung toolbar, wherein they can see the mouse, text. So, click natin. Mouse, text, draw, stamp, arrow, eraser, format, undo, redo, clear, save, and the X mark there, which, which hides the toolbar once it's clicked. So, it's basically almost the same as the screen of the teacher. The difference is one, meron silang arrow. Wala sa teacher niyan. Although sa teacher toolbar or pin bar, under draw, meron din namang arrow. Just like what they have here. Another difference is that wala silang spotlight. Ang spotlight, available lang sa pin bar ni teacher. Alright, so how do they control this? So if they want to draw shapes or lines, they have to click draw and then choose. So kung curve line, just click the curly line. Or the curve line, there. They can already manipulate the screen. They can, they can either do this by using the mouse or their bare hands. Or if they have Apple pens or if they're using Samsung Note, there's a pen there also. They can also change the color. So all they need to do is to go to format. So may iba-ibang available options there. So for example, they like red. So they can draw using that one. That color that they like. Kaya pwedeng may coloring task kapag gumagamit sila ng zoom. They can also draw different shapes. So, pwede si square. Pwede ring circle. Yan. And then, change colors from time to time para mas ma, mas uh, may variation yung ginagawa nila. Okay. So, to take this out, all they need to do is to click erase. And then, click the figure that they want to erase. Or they can also click undo. If not, another option is clear. So, here merong clear all drawings or clear my drawings. So, kung drawings lang nila, clear my drawings. But if they also want to clear the drawings of the teacher, clear all drawings. That's, that is kung enabled ni teacher. Alright. So, all of these are easy naman. Sa stamp, pwede din. So, may star. There's also a heart, there's arrow, there's a check mark. So, naaliw sila dito kasi yung worksheet to, nakikita nila yung mga markings that they make on their own. So, let's clear all of that. Okay, if there's one command here na nahihirapan yung kids, that would be text. So, this is the one that they need to click when, when you ask them to type. So, kung may fill in the blanks kayo na worksheet, so they need to know how to use this one. So, for example, type your hi. So, the first step, again, ha, click text. Then, a text box will appear. Then, the cursor has to be inside the text box before they type. After they type, okay, ito, dito may breakdown usually. Kasi akala nila, kapag nag-type na sila, nakikita na ni teacher. So, sasabihin sa akin ni student teacher, I type already. And then, I will tell the student, okay, I cannot see it. The reason why is because they still see the text box in their screen. So, the last step they need to do is to click outside the text box. 
Yan. Pag naging ganyan na, wala na yung text box na nakikita na ni teacher yung tinype nila. Okay, another thing they need to remember would be, or we need to instruct them and remind them is that kapag naklik na nila yung outside ng box, they cannot change what they type already. So, if they made a mistake, kailangan nilang ulitin. So, either click erase or undo or clear my drawings. So, they have to restart. So, click text again. Click outside the text box to make the word appear. Okay? And then, they can adjust the shape of the text box according to their needs. So, pwede nilang tabaan, pwede nilang lakihan, pwede nilang i-shift yung position ni text box kung saan nila gustong ilagay. So, as long as hindi pa nila nakiklik outside, nakiklik yung space outside the text box, they can still manipulate it. But once they did, that's it. Nakikita na siya ni teacher. Sometimes also, nahihirapan ng kids na mag-shift from one command to another kasi kulang sa... Click kasi sometimes some devices would require them to do a double click and they're only doing one left click. So, pwedeng i-remind sila ha, uh, click mouse first. So, halimbawa ako nasa draw sila, they want to shift to they want to shift to another command. Click mouse first before shifting to another command. Okay? So, that's it. Thank you. Have fun teaching and learning. Bye!